Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a neat new little racer. Actually, it's a 210 size racer. This is the Red Cat uh, Racing Carbon 210. Now, this particular quadcopter uh, is intended for those who want a ready to fly quadcopter with no playing around with clean flight or no playing around with beta flight. You know, there are people out there that are hesitant to enter into uh, racers because they fear that they have to become a programmer to do so, you know, with clean flight and beta flight. Um, although this can be programmed in clean flight, um, it is not necessary. Everything is set up ready to go and that's the idea behind this particular quadcopter set up ready to go very minimal um nothing actually needed other than to put on uh the uh, propellers on this quadcopter put in a battery and away you go okay if for those of you who are looking for one of these this just might be for you is what i'm saying something that's easy no programming uh needed now let's go over the quadcopter um, let me put down the transmitter first off um, it has a 600 TVL camera, which uh, also, along with a transmitter, FPV transmitter, that is both 25 milliwatt and 200 milliwatt uh, possible. Uh, two, uh, 25 milliwatt is for racing, 200 milliwatt when you want to go far, uh, although I'm going to be flying in 25 milliwatt to show how it performs out of the box. To get to 200 milliwatt, there's a little uh, plug in here that you got to remove with a pair of tweezers, I believe, to get at it. And pull the plug out, and that sets it to 200 milliwatt. Um, it comes with a dipole antenna. Well, actually, this, I guess is a monopole. People will correct me, whatever which one it is. But this is kind of unusual uh, in that normally you see um, clover leaf antennas here, a circular polarized clover leaf antennas on racers because of the yanking and banking. I don't know how much that's going to affect performance of the FPV. We are going to find out here today. But one thing I do notice is, even though it's got this monopole antenna here, it has a connector here to hold it in place so that it won't get in the way of the props. Other racers that I've seen that come with this type of antenna, these antennas can get in the way of the props as you're flopping around or if you get into a crash. This one holds it uh, securely um, out of the way of the props. Uh, other things, it comes with a Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight control board. Again, that is programmable through Clean Flight. Now, you got to use an older version of Clean Flight. I, I used the previous version before they started saying you got to update to the latest version. <laughs> so, you're going to need to download that if you want to modify it. I do not recommend it, and neither does the manufacturer recommend modifying the settings. I did go in there to see if I could connect, and I did connect to it and to see what the switch settings were all set to and what the PID settings were, but I did not modify anything. <laughs> so keep that in mind you do not need to do such and that's the again the thing about this particular quadcopter you do not need to modify any settings or go in the clean flight it's all set up ready for you to go out of the box uh the motors on this are 2400 uh wait hold on a second yeah 2204 2500 kv motors and in addition to that it has 30 amp esc so this can if you wish uh accommodate a um, 4S battery, although it comes with a 3S 1500 milliamp per hour battery, you could, if you wish, go with 4S, um, but I recommend sticking with the 3S. I see somebody fly a 4S battery and burnt out ESCs and should have tried it, but supposedly you could with this. Now, one thing about these ESCs, notice they are covered up. They're well protected. You can get to them by removing these two screws here and popping that off there. Oh, so these two screws here and the, the top cover will come off if you need to to change an ESC. But I don't see see one going bad. Uh, normally, you know, if you go, land in wet grass or something like that, you know, you can fry these ESCs. But these are protected against that. So that's a good point also. Um, other things, it comes with, let me pop the top here and show you the innards. There's two pins there. It comes with a 1500 milliamp per hour 3s 11.1 volt battery i got another one here today we're going to fly do two flights actually today um and it's it's held in place by this uh strap here and also <laughs> notice the colors it comes with a couple decal sheets that'll let you um customize this any way you want actually you make it real pretty <laughs> it looks awful pretty <laughs> but <laughs> But we're going to go fly it with, uh, I, I preferred red. I thought red would look good for racing with. So let's go over the controller next here. 
the controller very simplified controller there you know you see and other people get intimidated by all the switches you see on the controllers this one kept was kept very simple with only what you needed here's your power on off switch this arms and disarms the motors turns the motors on and off you know just set them when you're ready to fly you press that button there and the motors are armed by the way those motors will spin when you arm it so be careful you know do not connect and press that arm switch or you might get get hit by those propellers but the only other control that's that you need to know about is this three pin switch it's beginner advanced intermediate actually beginner intermediate and professional they call it or beginner advanced professional what these boil down to is beginner mode switch position one is angle mode also known as stabilized mode which means uh, beginners can fly it uh, I wouldn't recommend beginners let me make it clear I do not recommend beginners fly um, brushless motors quadcopters they're just too powerful folks you're gonna hurt yourself but for uh, intermediate flyers are wishing to advance into uh, flying FPV racers yeah, this, this is where I'd start with, and then go to advanced mode as you get better. Advanced mode lets you do flips and rolls, uh, but it's still stabilized. And finally, there's professional mode by, if you push the switch to number three here, that is full acro, and you can do acro mode flying with the stock PIDs that are, have been uploaded by RC um, Racing here, or Red Cat Racing. Um, let's see, did I miss anything on my cheat sheet? Oh, yeah, I did. Very important. It has on-screen display, folks. Uh, on-screen display, especially to let you know uh, the most important thing of all, how much battery power is remaining. So keep that in mind. And it has a beeper, too. So let's go into a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. There's one thing I forgot to mention, folks. This comes with a very, very nice travel carrying case. You know, if you want to take your racer out to the, the local park or racing arena, it it is it's metal trimmed plastic in the center and pop pop it also can be locked it comes with keys to lock it up but it's a very nice traveling case <laughs> to hold your quadcopter in there all you need to do is pull it out your quadcopter and attach its propellers and go to racing so it's a just a nice case i like it you know what i I'm going to keep this one. This is my keep, one of my keepers I'm going to keep hang on to. I don't normally hang on to quadcopters, but I am going to hang on to this one. Okay, we're going to do line of sight flying first. Now, keeping in mind, this uses a very common battery. I just happen to have a lot of uh, 1100 milliamp hour uh, 3S batteries. So we're going to uh, start off with uh, one of my generic batteries. Not This isn't the stock battery, but it's one of my generic uh, uh, 1500 milliamp hour batteries. One thing about this particular quadcopter, when you start it up, I recommend putting it on the ground, keeping your fingers away from the propellers, because they move a little bit. And that can be scary. Now, I want, one other thing I want to set, though, is, okay, I am going to bind the quadcopter. Another thing, watch what happens when you bind it. There. See how those props spun? Now, notice when I had the, here, I'm turning it off again. It should start beeping again. Notice when I had to throttle up, it won't bind. It won't allow you to bind. You have to move that throttle down, keep the throttle down for it to bind. And now it's bound. And finally, I want to hit record. Let me hit DVR, camera DVR. And we do have signal in there, as you can see. And hitting record. Recording that signal. <laughs> I always like to get aerial video, folks. It's just something I like to get. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to start off in beginner mode, stabilized mode, and arming the motors. Watch what happens. They start up armed and take them to the air. Let's keep it close for a while so you, so you can see it. Actually feels very good in stabilized mode. Okay, well, we have lots of power. Let's try punch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. lots of punch on this thing. Let's do that again. Mega punchy. I'll bring it in closer so you can see that. We'll go down the road this time for the punch. You ready? <laughs> oh, wow. Angle mode on this is very finely tuned. It feels so good, folks. 
and it is very fast. I can tell you right now, this is a fast machine. Gee, I wish I would have put the uh, the propellers, or not the propellers, the camera up higher. I do have it set up high, but this one's really made the zip. Amazing flyer. I, uh, actually, I'm telling you right now, if this goes well, especially at Acrobo, this might be one of my keepers. Let's bring it back in again so you can see it. Close up. I got some uh, viewers that love to see these close up. They, they get mad when I just fly pure acro on them. They want to see how they fly close up, but this one is so smooth. I use the word smooth a lot. This one is smooth and it's acro setting, it's stock acro setting. I want to do that again. Let's see if we got power for another punch. Holy, I almost said a word that I shouldn't around kids, but dang. Wonderful flyer. I want to get right into acro here and see what it does, but okay, uh, let's, let's try position two. Let's go up a little higher here and select position two. Is it still stabilized? Yep, still stabilized. I'm going up. Yeah, easily does flips. Stabilized. Bring it a little closer so you can see those flips. Like that. It does them very easily. Good flyer. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much more time. Uh, actually, I think I might hear it beeping. Hold on. Going back to angle. We're going to land it. I'm going to put it in a stock battery. Oh no. Let's show it up close first. There it is, number seven. Wonderful flyer, man. Wonderful. This is one of the best I've seen, actually, to tell you the truth, the way it feels. But I haven't floated in an acro yet, so I can't tell you what it's like in acro. But it's one of the best angle flyers, I'll tell you right now. Uh, <laughs> my voice is going bad. Let's see if I can get this dragonfly. <laughs> Tread. Wonderful flipper. <laughs> okay, let's go for acro now. That's enough of them flagging around like that. Let's put it down, and I am going to put my goggles on, and we're going to see what this thing can do in acro. So, hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Here we go. Okay, let's go into acro flying with the Carbon 210. Okay, first thing I need to do is I am it. I need to arm it. Well, actually, I'm going to set it to acro first. Throttle down and arming it by pressing the button and adjusting my glasses again or cam or goggles. We should be good to go. Let's give it a try. Okay, starting out slow. I want to see how that good that 25 milliwatt is. I gotta keep it that close so coming down the road here. Give it a little more oomph. I gotta be careful here because I do have that I do have the glass or the um, lens set up pretty high so this is a pretty good forward pitch here when I'm going here. It's going good. Wow. 
Hello, 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 it's already. That's because I was pushing it. <laughs> it warns you low voltage. But I was pushing it pretty fast there. Coming down a little again. Yeah, that the battery that it comes with, you could put a better battery in a, a, a higher C rating, and that it wouldn't it won't lag or sag that much. Uh, right now, I think it's got a 25 C in there. I'll I'll verify that here. Surely, but I think that's the cause of the low voltage that we're seeing here. The stock battery is not made for racing. <laughs> I'll give you that. The stock battery is meant for uh, beginner flyers. You're going to want a better battery if you want to open this thing up big time. As you see there, because the battery does lag. Okay, I'm slowing it. When I see the low voltage, I slow down. You know, I haven't done this yet. Or that. Or that. <laughs> but now I have. <laughs> so, uh, okay, still got 10.7. Okay, we're going to start bringing it in here shortly. Now, the thing about this quadcopter is, on low voltage, it will start to... Um, I hear a helicopter, too. That's why I'm bringing it in. I'm not sure what the helicopter's up to. On low voltage, it will start to descend on itself. Wait a minute, I, I hear this helicopter, folks. I'm going to let it go by. I'm not sure what it's up to. Okay, we were interrupted by a helicopter there. Uh, he was actually pretty high flying, but he was slow and he was noisy. But he's gone now. Uh, we got close to three minutes of flight time there flying in Acura with that stock battery. I'm going to finish up the battery though. Uh, right now we got how much voltage left? 11.2 volts in rest. But uh, we're going to fly it uh, and see what happens while in angle mode for the rest of the flight. So arming the quadcopter, going back up again. And I just want to, you know, the last bit of the juice in this, I want to go over the quadcopter. It is very aggressive. But the stock battery again is is really not very powerful. Uh, it's um, 3S, but the C rating on it was not very good. Uh, the the first flight I did was I was using a 30C battery, and I believe this one's about 25C or 20C, something like that. So you know you can get battery batteries. Better batteries are cheap, and I recommend getting better batteries. But other than that, I like everything about this quadcopter. It's very very excellent flyer. Um, I am not hearing any beeping warning when we get, you know, when we get that low voltage warning. I wish they would have uh, adjusted the beeper. I guess you could do that in clean flight, but I don't plan on doing that since I fly mainly with um, uh, goggles of this quadcopter, you know, goggle flying of it, flying in an acro. But uh, you can, if you wish, go in the clean flight. But again, I recommend that you get an older version of clean flight. Uh, the I think it's 1.2.3. You can download. Uh, not, don't use the online version. The online version will not work with this. It'll tell you to uh, upgrade uh, Clean Flight. Uh, but if you download one of the older versions, you can still connect with this and make changes if you wish. And I do not recommend you upgrading it to Beta Flight. Uh, I heard some horror stories about other people trying to upgrade this one to Beta Flight. So I wouldn't recommend doing such. But that is the carbon. Carbon 210. Really cool quadcopter. <laughs> I like it. And again, this is a new quadcopter 101 keeper. I'm going to keep this one for me. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out. <laughs> Still got punch. <laughs>